Hey, good, happy Father's Day, the 17th of June. I didn't vlog yesterday, I apologize. But there wasn't a whole lot to vlog about. I hope your Father's Day has been going great. In my opinion, everyone is a father. If you impact, if you're a man and you impact anyone's life, you are a parent. Um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever. If you influence anyone's life, and you're in that parental um, position, whether you're a teacher or whatever, you are in a role of influence, a leadership role. Well, I'm getting ready for bed. You know, I didn't vlog, I didn't, um, I did not log my food today on my fitness pal, but that's okay. It's Father's Day. I just was like, you need a day just to relax. They chose the restaurant to meet at. I haven't seen my dad in over a year, so. We met at a restaurant out of town at Cracker Barrel. That's where he chose. I did, for the most part, um, choose wise foods, grilled rainbow trout, side salad. I told them no bread, unsweetened tea with lemon, um, and steamed uh, broccoli. Now, for I did choose to eat a dessert. That's, I mean, if you're going to have to give up something, if you're at the beginning of your health and nutrition journey, you know, pick only one not so good food or remove one carb in exchange for another carb, the one you prefer. I'm not a big bread, bread person, so the, they put biscuits on the table, but they really weren't, they weren't a temptation to me. Um, it's something I could make here with probably almond flour. I thought I'll, I'll show you what I pack for tomorrow. This would be a video on packing the night before and getting your stuff ready for in the for gym. If you're going to be gone all day tomorrow or the next day, have your stuff out. Sorry for the lighting. I'm in my bedroom, like right at my closet. A shirt. Um, this is in a Avia. It's it's pretty comfortable and cool. And I'm sorry for the lighting and a pair of Danskin shorts fitted that I, um, it's a medium that I wear. It, it's, it's been so hot. I got the window fan in the window. My um, sports bra, this one, I it would say it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, I'd like to do a video on comfortable. I mean, if you have sensitive skin like I do, I just cannot wear just any sports bra. Or bra period I got my socks so that's what I'm putting on in the morning let me show you how I pack my bag because I was carrying a massive big bag to the gym with everything and it just got so frustrating because it doesn't fit in the locker good you have to turn the bag sideways so I got a little bag and I have my own locker at the gym so I really don't need to take everything everything a lot of things are already there except for clothes because I don't believe in leaving dirty clothes in the gym locker. It gets smelling. But I do have my um, shower stuff, such as the shampoos and my um, comb and moisturizer. I think I have my makeup there, so I don't need to take it. So, one way I pack, okay, as you can see, it's everything's rolled up. I do that. That's how I pack where it's... Feasible. What I'm wearing, because i got to go to work after the gym. Alright, so my underclothes, I have my my pants. I'm wearing these jean capri uh, pink pants. I've undergarments, an undershirt, because my other shirt is um, a see-through, and I can't wear see-through clothing to work. And uh, a plain t-shirt, pretty much, here. One of those cheap ones you buy at Walmart. It, yeah, I'm wearing all pink, it seems. Um, I put it here, right? And I try to roll it up to where to fit in that bag in a nice way possible and convenient. I just stick it in there. Stick it in there. Um, I have room if I want to put sandals or something in there. But this is a lot easier to tote and carry into the, put in my locker, you know. 
um, lockers can, um, they're not for a big, huge, like, um, I think my ba other bag was like actually a beach bag and it's just a little inconvenient. So, but yeah, I've got my clothes out ready for tomorrow. Um, and it's about bedtime. I don't want to keep you any longer in this video any longer because I think this video is about that. Just preparing the night before. This way you can sleep as long as you can in the morning and get as much rest as possible. Um, if there's any way I can get additional snooze in the morning, I plan to. And, and that's why I try to set up my clothing to where I can do this. Let me get my, my phone camera here so you can see. I am so sorry that it's a mess in here. So this is um, a closet. And another way is having these things are very convenient. You see to have those little I got my um I don't know if you could see that the um pants for Jim and Jim shirts some other shirts too these things are really useful in your law in your closet if you're organizing your um gym stuff especially if you go to the gym a lot it's just easier to grab and go my dog is a barking so, ketones and measurements and stuff, I'm going to have to do at a later time. Not right now. I was going to. Oh, gosh. You know what I forgot to do? I'm supposed to, if I'm going to do this bodybuilding.com challenge of Return to Olympia, I've got to submit my before photos if it's not too late. I just haven't bothered because it's just been so crazy around here trying to get stuff done. So. That's enough of me rambling on. You saw how I pack my gym bag for in the morning, the night before, and all I gotta do is pretty much grab and go. My shoes are already out. I'll just make the coffee in the morning. Scoot along. And everything, I think that's about it. I appreciate you watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And everything. And just um yeah follow me on instagram michelle transform 2018 and that's about it stay in touch with me i'll keep you informed as i go along i still have my goals i'm probably not nowhere near there yet but i'm getting there maybe i don't know we'll find out that's coming up week i'll talk to you later and have a great night happy father's day